Okay, so what we have as a problem uh, from our tutorial is that we're trying to find the dimensions of a riser and we have been informed that the riser is a cylindrical riser. So this is uh, the second question that we are not able to solve. And the riser has obviously got a diameter and a height. Okay, this is H, sorry. Okay, now uh, what we know is that the diameter to height ratio for the riser needs to be one is to one. Okay, that's one fact. So essentially we are saying that diameter is equal to height for our cylindrical riser. Okay, that's that's the information that we know for our riser, okay? But for the cast part, we know for our cast part, we know that the, uh, the solidification time for our cast part is 1.6 minutes, okay? We know uh, that it is a rectangular product. Our cast part is rectangular. Okay, let me just quickly sketch it here. There you go. Uh, and the dimensions are 12.5 centimeters by 7.5 centimeters by 2.5 uh, centimeters. Okay, sorry, it's just by two centimeters. Okay, it's not 2.5 centimeters, it's just two centimeters here. Okay, so those are the dimensions. And that's the, the key information that is given to us. Okay. So we do know that the solidification time is around 1.6 minutes for the cast part, okay? Now we have been, the question is asking us to determine the diameter and the height of the riser, okay? Because we know this is the same mold and the same cast, the first thing that we need to do here, and also, sorry, we know that the desired TS for the riser is two minutes, okay? So we know that here, uh, two minutes is equal to CM or the uh, Shorinov's constant divided volume over area to the power of N, okay? N we can assume to be two, okay? So let's assume N to be two, okay? Here as well, N is equal to two. Now this is the information that is available to us. We obviously don't know CM in other this case. Okay, so we don't know CM, we don't know V, we don't know A. Okay, A here is the surface area. We don't know that as well. So what we want to do now is first find the mold constant or the Soronov's constant here, CM. Okay, which is C. In some textbooks, it's just C. So let's work this out. Uh, the TS is equal to CM uh, V over surface area to the power of N, which is here in this case, we would write the volume. Okay, let's write the volume first. The volume of this is for it's because it is cuboid. So the volume is 12.5 by 7.5 by two centimeters. And the volume should come to somewhere around just okay, 187.5 centimeters cubed. Okay, so that is the volume. In case you're looking for the, um, and the surface area of this, okay, uh, the surface area here we need to consider is there are area one, area two, and there's area three here, okay? So the surface area is two times area one plus two times area two plus two times area three, because obviously there are two instances or two sides. So the cuboid has six sides and let's start with area one. So two into area one is here 12.5, 12.5 by 7.5 um, plus two into area two, area two is it's basically 12.5 by two. Okay, so 12.5 times two plus area three, two into area three and area three is 7.5 by two. 
Okay, so these are all the different areas that we have um, in here, okay? And the total surface area for us should come to somewhere around 267.5 centimeters square. Okay, now what we're doing uh, is trying to find CM here, okay, or the mole constant. Now let's go here. So TS in our case uh, for this has been given as 1.6 minutes. So let's put 1.6 minutes here is equal to CM over the volume is uh, 180. 7.5 centimeter cubed divided by the surface area is 267.5 centimeters squared. Okay. Now, if this is 1.6 here, okay, and the value of CM or C, okay, like I said, will come to somewhere around 3.26 minutes per centimeter square. Okay, because obviously this and this cancel here. So you just left with centimeters here and this is uh, minutes. Okay, eventually it, go, it gets divided on that side. Okay, so there you go. Uh, that's your CM. Now we bring our CM and we take this CM so that we can use it all the way for calculation here. Okay, and then what we do, we add, we put our CM in here, but before that, let's do our volume as well. Okay, so the volume of uh, our cylinder is normally pi d squared over four multiplied by the height. Okay, in this case, remember, our height is the same as the diameter, so we can safely say, it is pi d squared times another d squared, which is d cubed over four, okay? And surface area, the surface area is equal to, uh, so we have two secular areas there, pi d squared over four multiplied by two. So you have two of these uh, cylindrical or the secular areas, which need to account for, plus this, when you develop it, it would be sort of like a rectangle. So uh, that area of the surface of the cylinder, so that would become pi d times the height, okay? And then again, we can simplify this further to pi, sorry, two pi d squared over four, plus here, this becomes pi d squared because h is again, we're using this rule here again, that our height is the same as diameter because we said the diameter to height ratio is one is to one. Essentially, this, they would be the same value if the ratio is one is to one, okay? And this can actually be translated further to pi d squared into, so this to cancel, so this is half, half plus one, okay? And eventually we can see that the surface area comes to actually, um, so half plus one is 1.5. So 1.5 pi d squared, okay? Or we could just write as three over two pi d squared. Okay, so, and then, uh, I want to just, uh, let's see if I can scroll down a bit. Okay. I have some space here. Um, so then I can now go back to my original equation here. Okay. Uh, and then I can bring this original equation down here. So I say uh, that two is, two minutes rather is equal to CM which I know from here is 3.26 something into volume of our area. So our volume is pi d, uh, pi d cubed over four divided by, divided by 
3 over 2 pi d squared, okay, to the power of n, which is essentially the same as uh, saying, so this just rewriting this, this portion here, okay, which is uh, cm into pi d cubed over 4 multiplied by 2 over 3 pi d squared to the power of n, okay, just rewriting this to make it simpler for us. So this cancels, this cancels here. We have one over two left here, okay? Pi d squared cancels, pi d cubed cancels. You're just left with d here, okay? And eventually you end up with the equation, okay? Uh, let me just write it here. So eventually you end up with uh, two minutes is equal to cm, okay? cm d over six, okay? Because three, two times three becomes six to the power of n, okay? We said we can assume n is equal to two. So you are left with two minutes is equal to cm, we know is 3.26, 3.26 minutes per cm squared and two, d over six to the power of two, okay? So now the only variable left to find is d. You know, this is two minutes here, and then d will come out to be in centimeters. And our diameter comes to be, diameter when you solve this equation here, our diameter should come to be somewhere around, let's quickly make that calculation, okay? Not done that calculation yet, okay? Let me just quickly do the calculation. So 4.699, which we can say is 4.7 centimeters, okay? So if the diameter is 4.7 centimeters, we know the diameter to height ratio is the same, then our height is equal to 4.7 centimeters as well, okay? And this here is ultimately your final solution to the dimensions of the riser for this question or tutorial uh, question number three in our tutorial for week five. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, let me know during class or you can just post it to the Moodle forum or just email me with your questions.